Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Pisces, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Pisces, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Pisces and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Pisces, let's start your reading. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me once again. And Pisces, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Pisces, uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? Uh, for me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Okay, bottom of my deck, uh, somebody seems to have lost hope or they are still maybe they've lost trust in their person maybe the person never stepped up you know to offer them commitment or something but i do see that they want to now they want to bring back balance justice and they do want to come forward very focused but um, as of now from what i'm feeling is that uh, one person feels little knocked off their pedestal they feel there's no victory here i'm never going to get my ten of cups both of you are actually feeling the same thing uh, one person feels i've lost my ten of cups the other person feels i've lost my ten of pentacles mm, but there is love here still there's unconditional love here and the from the other side i do see that somebody wants to make do the right thing now so I'm, I'm going to clarify these cards of course uh, Pisces let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what, uh, what that would be and then we'll clarify the cards okay so Pisces and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Pisces and their person Pisces and their person spirit Pisces and their person. Okay. Pisces and their person spirit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to take a few more Pisces from another deck here. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Pisces and their person. That's too many spirit together. Can I have them one by one, please? Pisces and that person. Pisces and that person. One more. That's it. I think that's good. Uh, let's start your reading, Pisces. The first card itself, it stares at me, says, I want to regain your trust. We just talked about this Queen of Swords who is upset, is angry and feels I can't trust them anymore, losing hope that this can ever happen, right? Uh, the first card here says, but I want to regain your trust. I know that you're the one for me. I don't want to hide this love. But how can you love me after I effed everything up with our connection? That's the reason I think but the other person is also feeling a little, yeah, see, losing hope in this connection. I said that before the card came out. Both of you are feeling the same way. Don't let my arrogance fool you. I feel unworthy. I tend to look at your social media pages waiting on signs to connect with you. I kept all the texts. I can feel your desire for me. I'm learning that I can still have a great life without you. Okay, so person, I think this is person A who's kind of feeling, well, maybe this will never happen. Let me see. Let's, uh, okay, before I clarify these cards, uh, Pisces, let's start with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today. 
uh, as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Pisces. Peaceful. Uh, well, there is a possibility of a peaceful resolution coming. I do see the love in both your both sides, both sides. It's just that you both maybe have lack of communication or there's fear or somebody feels unworthy, something like that, that, you know, not telling the other person how you truly feel. But uh, there is a peaceful resolution. That's at least what my angels are blessing you with. So let's start your reading. Let's start with the energy of person A and then I'll move on to person B. Person A, uh, six of wands in reverse in your feelings. Six of wands in reverse. There is so much unconditional love here, my God. Person A does love person B a lot, but somewhere they don't feel reciprocated. This card fell a bit sideways, so I say that. They, they feel, they're feeling kind of depleted. They're wondering whether it's even worth now, you know, having this unconditional love for person B or not. Um, but they have it. They do have it, even though right now they may be feeling... Uh, a lack of victory, I guess, in this connection. Feeling I'll never achieve this Ten of Cups anymore because I guess you guys have been either arguing or fighting or there's been competition. Something, something's been happening which has been disrupting this flow of energy. Uh, that's the reason I think person A feels, well, I don't think there's a new beginning here. So, what happened in the recent past, person A, that you're feeling this way? The temperance in reverse is a lack of balance, lack of balance in this connection. Um, maybe person A has been sad and depressed because of that, because of the reason that this king of pentacles uh, is showing up in reverse. Maybe person B is this, this king of pentacles who was very ungrounded, never took responsibility of this connection, never showed up, never offered anything. It left person A feeling a bit sad and depressed. King of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, they never took action. They never took action. One more for the King of Pentacles, please. King of Pentacles. Yeah, that, that's the reason person A is feeling, hey, I felt such a strong pull towards person B. I thought they were my soulmate. I thought, you know, we were meant to be together. This is like a past life soulmate connection. But uh, then it went upside down because of maybe... This king of uh, pentacle not uh, responding or not offering or uh, not taking action. I think person is losing hope in this connection. So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? Strength in reverse. Yeah, a person A is feeling quite defeated, feeling the lack of love, feeling it's over, feeling betrayed, feeling sad, feeling terrible. Yet, this is the most loving queen ever. This person is unconditional love, beautiful, loving, kind. I think somewhere in their heart, they still harbor that love. Am I right, person A? What's the queen of cups? Queen of cups. I think person A is a bit confused. They don't know, whether, should I just shut this chapter or should I give it one more go? I still feel a lot of love in my heart for them. Even though I don't have hope and they don't take action, I'm always sad and depressed. But hey, I really don't want to shut this chapter. But I don't know what the truth is. This confusion. Because the soul calls out with love and the, maybe the heart or the mind says, I'm hurt. One more, Queen of Cups. Yeah, they've actually what person A would like, the, the way they see person B is as, as they're very cold hearted. They're very cold hearted, they're very logical, they are, uh, you know, always head over heart. I mean, person A feels, why can't they match my vibration? I'm giving them a cup, they give me their sword. And that's the reason things are just stagnant between the two of us. So what action person A will take, I'll open later. Let's go on to the other side and see in reality how person B is feeling. Person B, you also have the Ten of Pentacles now in reverse. Why is that in your feelings? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel they've been dumped or dropped. Somewhere they are also feeling the same, same stagnation. 
they feel that uh, maybe person A has totally given up on them or maybe not even stressed about them anymore, unchained themselves. They don't know how to make it work now. Uh, eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they don't know how to make this work. Uh, three of pentacles in reverse. Yes, this person doesn't have the confidence. <laughs> or they're just feeling ungrounded because... Why? 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 Just give me one more, please. Eight of pentacles. As much... Oh, no, this person wants to take action. They want to take action. See, this person really, 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 really wants to take action. You know the reason why they feel ungrounded, person A? Eh? Because you see them as this now. They feel you're angry, you're upset, you will not trust them. They don't know how to make this work. And this was the overall energy as well, right? There is distrust. And they know it, they feel it, they sense it. I'm not going to be forgiven. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, they, my person will never trust me again. And that's what makes them not, you know, come forward and give that offer or they want to. They, this person really does want to take action from what I feel. They're scared almost of person A, it seems. So person B, what happened to you according to what happened in the recent past from your perspective what happened that you're feeling this way two of swords in reverse there was some decision some choice made ah something happened where they feel that person a decided something about them there was some kind of a decision made maybe by person a uh, they since then i think since then since this choice was made maybe by person a that you know I don't trust you or you know uh, this person has been scared to even uh, come forward with an apology they've been scared to offer love four of swords they've been thinking a lot about it maybe they um, they they could have found out through gossip or rumors or something that this uh, empress doesn't want them or doesn't like them or doesn't love them or doesn't want to have anything to do with them there could be you know maybe gossip going on around uh, you know you guys or friends or something like that co-workers somebody saying that this empress is not interested in you this empress you know doesn't like you anymore they don't want to have anything to do with you this person had that now that's the reason i think this person retreated they've been thinking a lot about it maybe they're thinking about their own immature behavior and what caused this uh, empress to you know turn their back on them this person has been contemplating maybe their own bad behavior their own immature ways and how they messed it up. Give me one more for the four of swords. This person hides their feelings. This is the king of cups. They have a lot of love in their heart, um, Pisces. They may be blowing hot, or hot and cold or maybe sometimes, you know, coming forward and then retreating. Uh, this person doesn't know how to communicate how they truly feel. Somewhere because maybe of their own past mistakes or maybe because they feel that this empress doesn't want them anymore like I am repeating myself I know mm, so let's ask this person person B uh, how do you see the connection now how do you feel about your person how do you see the connection now justice what's the justice what's the justice card They feel they're getting some bad karma. They feel they, I mean, Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Justice card smells of bad karma. They feel that uh, because of this bad, ba bad behavior of theirs, their rash behavior, they could have been uh, loose-tongued maybe, uh, said certain things which they shouldn't have. They feel uh, my person has... Yes, they've turned their back on me, Omkara Taro. Uh, I don't see them stuck on me anymore. I don't feel they're stuck on me anymore. Um, then, what? what's the page of ones? Do you want to talk to them still? Do you want to message them? They do. They do. But they're coming from a place of, I want to talk to them. I want to keep the communication going, even though I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I, I think I've already lost my chance for this Ten of Cups. 
So then why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Oh. This person doesn't feel they can manifest. This person doesn't feel they can manifest. They, they feel they've already lost a chance for commitment now. They feel because of their foolish, unwise choices in their life, they've missed out an opportunity. They're seeing their person as very, very attractive, uh, turning heads, looking good, maybe just doing really well in their life. I don't think they see person A feeling very stressed out about them or they, at least how, that's how they feel that hey you know I was so foolish and the way I've behaved why would they even miss me uh, this person is doing so great in their life uh, they're charging forward they're moving forward as much as I'd like to move towards them I don't think I can manifest a commitment commitment because I I've, I've made foolish choices okay so there is miscommunication going on it seems or no communication i do see little messages here and there with the page of wands energy mm, i don't think this connection is totally shut down but there's a lack of trust and belief okay so let's see what actions you guys will take pisces i'm going to take another deck for this one and uh, while i shuffle may i please request you if you could just tap that like button for me please it really helps the videos to circulate as I've been told by YouTube, I'm not sure, but it just makes me feel very good to know how many of you I've connected with. And uh, newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that little notification bell, that little bell icon. That way then YouTube can, uh, well, notify you when new videos are uploaded. Thank you. Okay, person A. What's the action from your end? Five of Cups. I think person A is sitting in a bit of sadness sadness regret, regret looking at the past feeling why didn't it work out i miss person b i wish things had been different right uh, both of you seems to have lost hope so five of cups as action not good person a why is that an action from your end six of pentacles knight of swords seven of swords it's eight of swords well as much as i think person a always wanted this equal give and take and of you know equal partnership because of whatever conflict that's happened between the two of you maybe person b was uh, all, all the runner here look at this person running running after their motorcycle running away here with five swords um, person a feels that hey they're all, always going to do this to me they're always going to keep running and you know escaping me or cheating or lying or whatever uh, person a is in a bit of sadness bit of stress of the self-imposed prison of their mind this is all in person a's mind it's not the truth person a if you are the pisces listening to this reading today please get yourself out of this funk okay it's not worth it it's really not worth it don't let your mind tell you stories which are probably untrue i do see they are untrue because person b is also feeling the same way right so let's see person b Person B, what's the action from your end? Yeah, person B. The person B is trying to, you know, tap into their own intuition. Okay, let's see the action now. Person B's action towards person A or otherwise spirit. Three of Wands in reverse. What's the Three of Wands in reverse? Why is the Three of Wands in reverse? Justice again, okay. The devil. Four of swords. This person really wants to do the right thing, Pisces. They really, really, really want to do the right thing now. But they are so afraid. They are so afraid that uh, person A has turned their back on them. Right? Uh, this person is healing. They are resting. They, are, they have retreated for some time now. Um, maybe going through a spiritual awakening. But the fear is there that they've lost their person or their person has given up on them. So please don't. I mean, they want to make things right. They realize what they've done. I think they, they are dealing with their karma. But um, let's take one more. 
have card hiding here. Yeah. Okay. So give me one, one or two more uh, person B. What's your action? What's your action towards person A? Hierophant, see? They want commitment. They do want to balance things out. They do want to commit. There is fear here. There is fear here that... Uh, and that's the reason they because because of the past baggage you see this person is coming this person is coming as much as this person wants to get onto their chariot and rush towards person a they're slowing themselves down maybe this person needs a little time to recuperate or rest or you know think or whatever but why because this person is also going through the nine of swords person a has the eight of swords person b has the nine of swords they are also as stressed out because of this past baggage of whatever has happened in the past. Maybe they made some mistakes or something in the past. So as much as they are trying to come forward, this baggage is slowing them down. Okay, so please, I guess you both need this peace right now to take a few deep breaths and don't put yourself, whichever side you are on Pisces. Take a chill pill, do some yoga, meditation, something. Uh, both of you that love each other, I can promise you that. There is a lot of love, unconditional love from both ends. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.